Hello everyone, I am of course uh, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to do another edition of the da -da -da Ghost Letters Report. Now recently, class conflict and class struggle on a political level have increased here in Japan. Now, if you saw the uploads I did previously, recently with the um, labor rally and a march, well that has led to some arrest of Chukaku High members, I believe. They are a um, communist organization. Uh, now, they're also connected to Rochiba, but that's a different issue altogether. Now, I was at this protest, at this march. I didn't see any inklings of violence or any attempt to intimidate anyone on the side of the labor unionists or any Ch Chukako High member or any leftists in general there. What I did see was a massive, intimidating police force, far right-wing groups harassing and attempting to provoke uh, trade unionists as well as other leftists at the event. I saw plain clothes, secret police officers there. I saw a lot of that. But did I see now even one incident where any leftists or trade unionists attempted to get violent or spark any violence? Nope, not once. But several leftist university students were arrested at that event, despite the lack of anyone wanting to get violent on the side of the trade unionists and other leftists. Now this has also led to a very particular incident that's recently happened at Kyoto University, where students identified and held an undercover secret police officer who was looking for and investigating, investigating leftist students to try to find something to arrest them on. Basically, I call it stalking. But you know what the police would say, this is an undercover investigation. This is clearly politically motivated by the far right-wing fascist government we have in Japan right now. Leftists in Japan are under attack. Now this harassment continues to go on now, and there's still arrests being made on very minor charges against leftists here in Japan. They're trying to throw us all in jail. The harassment and intimidation keeps getting stronger as the workers here keep getting more aware and start standing up for themselves. And people here in Japan get tired of this capitalist garbage. But this is how things are. They come after us. They hunt us, they stalk us, they track us, and look for any reason to arrest us. We have a rally or a march or a protest. They try to provoke us. They send their goon squads out. They send their right-wing fascist groups out to intimidate, harass, and provoke any tiny little thing that snatch us up and arrest us like trophies. This should not and cannot be tolerated. Now, will you see some leftists in Japan start to cower? Yes, of course you will. This is, this is not a time for that. Those people are scared. The social democrats and the like. They will cower until you don't go to these events anymore. Don't participate. A smart person keeps their head down. That's unwise and it's counterproductive. Now, should we react with violence? No. Should we defend ourselves? Yes. As these things will continue to increase in the coming months and years, as the situation here in Japan continues to deteriorate, we leftists must be smart must be bold and must be brave. And I stand up to this type of harassment, this type of politically motivated witch hunt should not go on. So we must stand by our brothers and sisters and comrades during this time. We must look out for each other. We must stand firm. As this type of thing starts to happen. So I hope you find this informative. Hope you find this eye-opening of what's actually starting to go on here in Japan. 
this is the first time you've seen me subscribe you get plenty of videos like this and from time to time some surprises so until next time this is me john doe from tokyo check it out